event is a really exciting moment to bring all these innovators from around the world here to Washington to help us all tackle this, this really important issue of saving lives of women and newborns at birth. What we've done here is it's a really exciting concept of throwing the challenge out to the world and letting the whole world of innovators from all walks of life, from all expertises, whether it's private sector or academia, faith-based organizations or NGOs or governments themselves, come forward with clever ideas. So we opened up this grand challenge to the world. I come from Malawi, based in Baltimore, Vancouver, Canada. In Nairobi, Kenya. Antwerp, Belgium. In Australia. In India. From Pakistan. Philadelphia. Lusaka. Uganda. Saving Lives at Birth is interested in finding bold ideas with big impact. We're trying to bring together the science, the social innovation, and the business innovation, something we call integrated innovation. It's radically different from the way we've done development in the past. And if you look at the ideas that have reached the nomination stage, there are very exciting ideas that in fact reinforce the view that if you search more broadly, you'll find even better ideas. Few challenges are as persistent or heartbreaking as the health of mothers and children. Uh, because we are well aware that uh, the single most critical window for uh, maternal and child health occurs from the onset of labor to 48 hours after childbirth. And for too many people in too many places, what should be uh, a moment of great joy uh, ends in tragedy. Uh, you know the statistics. A woman still today in 2011 uh, dies in childbirth every two minutes. Um, in 2009, according to the WHO, 2.6 million children were stillborn. One million newborns die every year in the two days after birth. And we just cannot watch that happening without saying, how can we prevent uh, these deaths? So in March, uh, we issued this challenge and we said, bring us your best ideas. We've been overwhelmed by the response. Today, we see an incredible roster of new approaches and new solutions to these great global challenges. What a day like today means is that we may know a lot about how to save lives, but we all recognize the need to improve service delivery. It is inspiring to see organizations from around the world putting their efforts into finding innovative solutions to the challenge of protecting mothers and newborns in the poorest places in the globe. What you do with this work, you give the gift of life. And when I look across the room today and the exhibits which I am going to see, I believe, and I really believe that the Norman Borlaug of global maternal health just might be in this room. Human powered. You do not need electricity. You just have to spin and put this probe onto the mother's abdomen to get the baby's heart. This innovation allows us to immediately, by just hanging this bag up through gravity, to pass it through the pro blood filtration device and immediately, over a period of about 50 minutes, have packed red blood cells right, ready, available to use, or to store. The nearly 500,000 new childhood HIV cases each year, those children are getting the virus from their mothers. This pouch, the Pratt pouch, can nearly prevent all of those cases. To treat jaundice, all you need is blue light. And the blue light costs $3,500 in the US, but we have drastically reduced the cost and brought it down to $400. You can actually see on our video that this model has been used to create a lifelike simulation of a low transverse cesarean section in a pregnant mother who's had an obstructed labor. We've proposed a dry powder formulation of that drug oxytocin which a patient could inhale 
and would then be absorbed from the lungs to then go on to cause the uterus to contract and prevent that postpartum bleeding that often leads to death. To the 600 entrants all over the world and to the 77 finalists and the eventual winners, my, my message is the same. Uh, please keep going with these ideas. There were so many great ideas. And figure out ways, and we will try to help you figure out ways to make them scalable, sustainable, deliverable uh, interventions. I really commend all of you for participating. I wish everybody the very best. And to the finalists when you are announced, congratulations. So we're very excited now to be able to announce the nominees for the seed grants under the Saving Lives at Birth Challenge. The Operative Experience from Elkton, Maryland. Health Point Services from Secunderabad, India. Program for Appropriate Technology and Health from Seattle, Washington. Baylor College of Medicine in Houston. Moy University School of Medicine in Eldore, Kenya. Manash University from Clayton, Australia. Chapaigo Corporation from Baltimore, Maryland. Duke University from Durham, North Carolina. University of British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada. Save the Children Federation from Westport, Connecticut. Population Council from New York City. John Hopkins University from Baltimore, Maryland. The World Health Organization in Geneva. Diagnostics for All, Inc. from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Partners for Development from Silver Spring, Maryland. Hospital for Sick Children from Toronto, Canada. FinCon from Islamabad, Pakistan. William Marsh Rice University from Houston, Texas. Congratulations to all the... These grand challenges uh, shouldn't stop with the announcement of winners. We have to keep making our best efforts in order to overcome the challenges that we are aiming at. Uh, so I'm grateful to you, and I want to do everything I can to support you, and we will work through USAID with all of our partners uh, to deliver better development results for the entire world. This particular event has been a phenomenal help to me as a researcher, it's really provided an opportunity to um, get together with other people who have developed similar products in similar environments to learn from their experiences, but I have made many, many new contacts. The atmosphere of the conference has been extremely positive. I've never had an experience like this. For somebody like myself who works in the drug delivery field, to interact with the people here who have come from all over the world, many of them who are on the ground in these rural villages where women and children are routinely dying from issues that could be prevented. We've actually met a tremendous number of people. There are many other booths here where we've noticed that there's a complementarity to their technologies with ours, and we're looking forward to maintaining the relationships with, with many of these. We've also networked with a tremendous number of people from overseas, and we've heard a lot of very practical advice, which we'll actually be able to implement in the use of our product. So many of the presentations back there demonstrate that we can save lives at one-tenth the cost, one-fifteenth the cost. They unlock so much potential that it really gives uh, real grist to the concept that we live in an era where the technology and know-how exists to sustain the biggest improvements in the human condition for the most vulnerable people around the world. We know that it's a political challenge and we need the political will. It's a scientific and technical challenge. We need your continued creativity. It is a bureaucratic and organizational challenge. We need to get better and more effective and more efficient every day. But if we all work together, we can make this vision of saving lives at birth a reality. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you to our partners. And I hope you do get a chance to walk through at the end of the day. Bye-bye.